Sunset marks the change between two worlds. Grasslands, pools, and jungle are transformed in the light of the moon. New creatures come out for the night, creatures that never see the sun, the least well-known inhabitants of the plains. In the jungle, the moon guides the way for some old friends of ours. As they did at dawn, the peccaries return to the edge of the jungle again in search of the treasure that has fallen from the trees during the day. But as they feed on the fruits, this time the two wild boar are watched by eyes of fire. A jaguar has heard movements in the undergrowth. He is perfectly equipped for nighttime hunting, and silent as a shadow, he approaches the peccaries. Unfortunately for him, the wind is not in his favor, and though there is just the slightest breeze thanks to their keen sense of smell, the boars have detected the feline, and they immediately run for safety. The most beautiful killer in the jungle will have to continue on his nocturnal round. Outside, in open territory, another lover of the dark has emerged from the termite mound where he has spent the day. And the capybaras leave the pools and venture out into the meadows to eat the last remaining grass that the sun has not yet scorched. An army of shadows come to life on the plains, and among them our heroine plods on, steadfast in her determination to reach home. Nightfall seems to mark a kind of truce. The tortoise now comes across more relaxed animals feeding, or like this turtle laying their eggs in a hole, which you will scrupulously cover before dawn to keep them safe from predators. Night will soon be over, and you have to be ready for a new battle in the inferno. The arrival of the dawn marks the beginning of the cycle of the plains. The creatures of the light return and those animals that fear the sun take advantage of the early morning hours. For the Morokoi tortoise, the new day brings pleasant surprises. On the horizon, in the distance, she can see the outline of a forest and with renewed strength, she continues on her way. A little further on, another surprise awaits her. She comes across another Morokoi tortoise walking in the opposite direction. For our tortoise, this meeting is something extraordinary. She knows the hardships the other Morokoi will face if he ventures out into the plain, but she has no way of telling him this. Finally, she continues on her way without having been able to share information and experiences. If she had, perhaps our tortoise would have understood why the other one was fleeing from the forest. Ahead, a column of smoke signals the greatest danger of the plains. Vast extensions of dry grass are rapidly devoured by the flames, and the fire advances at the speed of the wind. The flames pass swiftly by, 
There is no wood to slow them down and the fire literally flies across the grasslands without reaching high temperatures. But though they quickly pass, the flames prove fatal for many of the animals on the ground. And, as always, opportunists appear to take advantage of the misfortune of others. For a tortoise out in the pasture, these fires are a deadly trap. The unfortunate Morokoi knows that her home is close by, but experience out on the open plain has taught her that here death is even closer than any goal. So when she smells a smoke, she turns back and desperately seeks shelter. Death is biting at her heels when finally luck smiles on her. Below a bush, an armadillo's tunnel will be a lifesaver. The wind rapidly spreads the fire. From inside the burrow, the flames can be seen for just an instant, and the smoky breath of their passing indicates the moment it is safe to return to the surface. Outside, the sea of grass has been laid to waste. Slowly, the tortoise continues on her way, somewhat disorientated. The smoke blinds her and there are still glowing embers on the ground which cause painful burns. With a firm step, though still frightened, she tries to make it to the forest across a now unrecognizable landscape. She sniffs for the smell of the humus in the trees, but the only smell she detects is that of death. Not everyone has been as lucky as her. The other tortoise did not find a burrow, and in his case, the fire won the race. The proximity of death confuses her. The shell of another of her species makes the dangers and the tragedies of the plane affect her as they had not done up to now. It is time to return to the safety of the jungle where she was born. And above the smell of scorched pasture and meat, she finally detects the sweet, cool smell of the forest. The humidity retained by the trees has prevented this low-intensity fire from entering the jungle. Here, life is easier, the surroundings fertile, and food abundant. Despite appearances, the forest also contains serious dangers. Many animals, such as the howler monkeys, almost never come down to the ground. Away from the safety of the treetops, the forest floor is a land of shadows where powerful hunters prowl. An unsuspecting iguana rests among the lower branches of a young monkey pod tree. Its natural camouflage hides it among the intense green vegetation. But, believing it is safe, it is not sufficiently cautious in its movements and is immediately spotted by vigilant eyes. The ocelot doesn't yet know what animal it is, but the iguana's movements have alerted him to the fact that there is something alive here. And for any feline in the forest, something alive means something to eat. Finally, the ocelot emerges from the jungle and the iguana sees him. Immediately, the reptile freezes. It knows that immobility will be its only chance against such an agile enemy. But this strategy has been employed too late. Though he can't yet see what this potential prey is, the ocelot's acute sense of smell soon tells him. Now he knows what it is and where it is, and the iguana's fate has been decided. (laughs) 
Though they are small in size, these patches of jungle on the plains are home to large hunters. The cats are the most efficient of all, and in the forest there are five different species. Outside on the grasslands, they have been virtually exterminated by man, who considers them a threat to the cattle. But here, hidden in the dense foliage, they survive thanks to the abundance of prey and the green wall that keeps men out. After an unsuccessful night's hunting, the jaguar is hungry. He rarely hunts during the day. Fear of humans has turned him into a nocturnal predator. But since the peccaries managed to escape the previous night, he has not eaten, and his hunger is now urgent. Fortunately for him, the howler monkeys have seen him and raised the alarm. Now the entire forest, knowing he is prowling around, is on the alert. He is not the only hunter searching for prey in the forest. At the other end of the little jungle, another creature of the night lurks among the vegetation. Almost all the black jaguars have fallen victim to the bullets of the fur hunters, but their coloring, fatal out in the open, protects them in the darkness of the jungle. The vigilant howlers don't take their eyes off him and scream out the threat of his presence. But a dozing iguana has not heard them. He is warming up beneath the first rays of sunlight, and only when the jaguar is virtually on him does he seem to realize just how close death is. It was a close shave, but the reptile's ability to dive has saved its life. The jungle offers as many opportunities to catch a prey like this as for these to escape from their hunters and so the ecological balance is preserved. Finally, the longed-for jungle lies before her. Hungry and tired, exhausted after crossing the inferno, our tortoise finally reaches her personal paradise. The jungle hides dangers, but ones she is aware of and knows how to avoid. It is her home, the place she is adapted to, and after her many trials, she victoriously enters the shady undergrowth, the final goal of her risky adventure. And there, to welcome her shortly after entering the green canopy of the trees, the Morokoi tortoise finds tasty flowers which restore her strength. And this is not the only pleasant surprise. Another Morokoi tortoise has seen her arrive and approaches to check out this intruder who has wandered into his territory. The saddle-like shape of its shell tells us it's an adult male. And our traveling tortoise is a female, so there are no problems of territoriality. The nightmare is over. For her, the jungle means returning to life. She is back in her natural surroundings, the world into which she was born, and now the future is promising. She has shelter, food, and even a mate. But she will not easily forget her journey across the open plains. After all, not everyone ventures into hell and lives to tell the tale.